Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here. I'm absolutely delighted to present to you the new Raya Pro 3.0. This is going to be available by February 28th. And remember, all existing Raya Pro users get this update completely free. You get all updates free for life, so you don't have to purchase Raya Pro again. So if you're an existing Raya Pro user, I'm going to email you the update as we get closer to the 28th of February. So on the screen here, you can see my email address pop up. Please add this to the address book in your emails so that when I send the update, it doesn't go to your spam folder, it goes straight to your inbox. Now, if you're not a Raya Pro user, but you've been thinking about getting it, but you wanted to wait until the 3.0 update, you can still purchase Raya Pro 2.0 today, and then you'll get the free upgrade when it's available later next month. Now, let me show you some of the great new functions in Raya Pro. You'll see that it's a completely different design. So this is Raya Pro 2.0, and we have a lot of pages here and some incredible functions, but you also have to use drop-down boxes to get to some of those functions. Now I've made it quicker and easier to access all the functions in Raya Pro. So we have this Raya Pro hub panel here, and this in itself has some fantastic functions. But if we press, for example, Instamask, we now see Instamask appear. Or if we press Dodge and Burn, which is a new panel, we'll see the Dodge and Burn panel appear. So we have instant access to our panels. Now the great thing about the hub is that we have some great functions along here. And we can even exposure blend using this panel. But let's say we want to apply some changes just to our highlights. I'm going to open up a levels layer and you can see we're brightening up the highlights, but it's probably affecting the rest of the image there. So if we want to target that just to the highlights, we can just press highlights. And now we've created a mask that's targeting just the highlights. And we can edit that mask with the adjust button any way we want. So we can make it more restrictive if we wanted, targeting more of just the highlights. And of course, if we have multiple windows open like this, so we want to exposure blend, we can press stack and that will bring all of those windows into one and it will place your exposures as layers. And we can delete the mask of the current layer just by pressing delete mask and we can delete the layer that way. Now let me quickly show you Instamask. For those of you who've never seen Instamask, this is one of the most advanced mask generation panels in the world. Now Raya Pro also has some very easy auto exposure blending options if you're new to exposure blending, but let's talk about Instamask right now because this is for intermediate to advanced users. But I wanna show you some of the fantastic functions that we've added to Instamask. So to begin with, it's up to five times faster than the original Instamask when it comes to creating our masks. So we have our usual brights, darks, and mid-tones masks, but with this new update, we also have saturation mask, an edge mask, and we can manually select any color we want using the manual mask. And we can change these masks any way we want. We can combine them, we can add masks, we can subtract masks. This gives us endless possibilities when it comes to making very accurate selections. But we can take this a step further. You see we have this button here called RGB. If we press that, we now open a new panel called RGB masks. And this creates 16-bit luminosity masks based on the individual color channels that we have. So let's say I want to select the brightest parts of the sky here. So I go to a Brights 3 in Instamask, but I want a better selection of the stars. Well, I can try the red channel Bright 3. That does give us a decent selection, or the green channel. That's a good selection. Or the blue channel, which is a fantastic selection. And now I can close this panel and I can just press something like Curves. And now we've applied that mask to a Curves layer. And remember, it's a 16-bit mask. And when I bring the curve up, we are brightening up the sky there. And we're not affecting the rest of the image. And if we go back into Instamask and the RGB masks, we also have bright range masks, dark range masks, and mid-tone masks. So that allows us to choose the full spectrum of masks through the color range picker. And Whichever masks we create through this RGB masks panel, we can also alter with the sliders in Instamask. So as you can see, we have some fantastic new functionality in this panel. And it's designed essentially so that we can do almost everything we want within this panel. We can put a black mask on our layer, we can put a white mask on the layer, we can choose if we want a white brush, a black brush, a small brush, a large one, and we can make our brush bigger by 250 pixels each time by pressing the plus button 
or making it smaller. And to make things even better, all of my panels have an option here called Tutorial. And you can see one here on Raya Pro. And this will take you to a video tutorial showing you how to use that panel. So you don't have to worry about remembering what all of the buttons do. If you forget, just press on this tutorial button and you can watch the video, which will show you how to use that particular panel. Now we still have lots of the same functionality from Raya Pro 2.0. So we still have precision masks and these allow us to exposure blend in a much easier way. And this is an intermediate exposure blending function. And what they allow us to do is to create masks on layers and we can cycle through those masks and choose which one's best for us. And then we can clean up our blend by adding or removing certain colors and we can fix any blending issues that we might have. Now, if we go to our colors panel here, you can see we have the ability to control and to manage all of the colors very precisely in our photo. For example, this one has a really strong blue cast from an ND filter. Now we have three auto color correct options in the color center. So if the first one doesn't work, we can delete that. Try the second one. If that doesn't work, we can try the third one. But I'll just show you how it works. I press correct one and there we've corrected the color beautifully with a new layer. We can also change the temperature of our image by making it colder or warmer. And this creates a blanket change across our whole image. We can saturate all of our colors or we can target specific colors and saturate them individually or desaturate them individually. Here we have the ability to add warmth or cold to shadows or highlights specifically. And these functions were also in Raya Pro 2.0. Now I want to show you my favorite additions to Raya Pro 3.0 and that's the dodge and burn panel. This is going to allow us to dodge and burn using just this panel and we can really make our images pop with the options in here. Now the first three options at the top, highlights, midtones, and shadows will allow us to dodge and burn but targeting specific tonal ranges in our image in a non-destructive way. So for example, if I choose midtones here, now we've created a mask which excludes the brightest parts of the image and some of the darkest parts, but we want to make that even more contrasting. And so I'm just making this a more contrasting mask and now we're really selecting the midtones. And I can press OK. Now I can press brush to select my brush. I can choose a foreground of white if I want or black or color foregrounds. Or I can press the eye button here which will bring up the eye drop and we can choose any color we want as a foreground color. But to begin with, I'm just going to press a white foreground. And this is going to dodge the tonal ranges that we've selected in this mask. So I'm going to press my brush again, and I'm just painting over these areas. Now notice if I paint down here in the dark area, it's not being affected. That's because we've excluded the shadows from the mask. Now we have an option here called overlay, soft light, or vivid light. If we press overlay, we'll give the dodge and burning even more contrast. Soft light will give it a softer contrast and vivid light makes it really crazy. So I'm going to go for overlay here and bring the opacity of this layer down a little bit. And we can just dodge in some of these brighter areas. Now let's say we want to brighten up some of the shadows because they're a little bit dark. I can press shadows and then I want a more contrasting mask. I really just want to target the darkest parts in the image. So I'm going to bring this along all the way now we're really selecting the darkest parts of the image and I press OK. Now I can choose a white paintbrush and watch what happens when I paint in the shadows. We're brightening it up. But if I paint on here, it's not making any difference or in the brighter areas, it's not making any difference either. So that's how we can dodge and burn non-destructively. If you prefer traditional methods of dodging burning, then we can just press merge and this will create a merge layer and we can choose our dodge tool here, our burn tool here, or our sponge tool. But I've also added options to use a 50% gray layer if that's what you prefer, or just dodging and burning through a curves layer, which you can see adds some strong contrast. And then we've taken all the great functions from Raya Pro 2.0 and added them here. So we've got the Orton effect, which will give you a magical feel. We can add details to our shadows and highlights, and we can even create the full zone contrast range. So we're targeting shadows, midtones, and highlights to give total control over our image. Now we have the filters and finish tab. And this is where we have all of our actions and your actions. So you can insert any of your favorite actions into here 
and just press the button and it'll play that action for you so you don't have to go to the actions panel. Now we still have the really useful filters that existed in Raya Pro 2.0. So for example, we have one called Magic Green Lands, which is probably the most popular filter for Raya Pro users. Now if I have a flat image like this, I can just press Magic Green Lands and let it do its work. Now this pop-up here is for the Orton effect. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is and press OK. And now the filter has finished. Now it's a little bit strong, so I can go down to let's say Boost Greens and just bring that down a touch. And so this is the before and after. And of course you can go through any part of that. You can get rid of the Orton effect if you want, or you can get rid of Bright Boost if you want, and you control entirely the final result of this filter. On the finish side, we can reduce noise. We can clean chromatic aberration. We can create a nice vignette. We can sharpen our image full size, and we can also sharpen our image full size, but excluding any edging that we might get. And we still have the frequency separation buttons and the sharpen and resize for the web options that we have here. And now let me take you to the final panel. We have something in quick blending called instant auto blending. And this is gonna do everything for you. So if you're brand new to exposure blending and you don't really know what to do, all you need to do is put your exposures as layers like this. And then when you're ready, choose a dark layer or choose the bright layer and select the correct option. So we've got blend dark exposure. So I've got my dark exposure selected and I just press start. And now I create a mask. Now I really wanna target the windows because I wanna bring through the windows from the darker exposure and put them into the brighter exposure. So I'm gonna create a contrasting mask, selecting mainly the windows and then just press okay. Now you'll see the blend doesn't look really that good. There are some errors down here. And those of you who followed my Mastering Raya Pro course will know exactly why that's happened and how to fix it. But this is a function I've added into this instant auto blending. Now this is not as clean as the methods I teach in Mastering Raya Pro, but if you're unsure of what to do because you're new to exposure blending, this will help a lot. So now when you've done that, we can just press two, three, four, and we're cycling through all of these options and we're choosing which one's best for us. So I think number four is best for us. It gives us a nice bright window and it hasn't flattened the image like before. And when we're ready, we just press select. And so now here's the before and after. And we can also do that with the bright exposure as well. And we still have all the great functions from Raya Pro 2.0 in the quick blending panel. So that's a very quick overview of Raya Pro 3.0. Again, if you're thinking about purchasing the panel, you can do that today and you'll still get Raya Pro 3.0 for free. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to sharing it with you all on February 28th.